Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install PHP 7 manually. So first thing what we need to do is we need to go to this link right here, windows.php.net slash download, which will be in the description below. And we're going to download the threadsafe um, .zip file right here, which I already have downloaded. So I'm just going to drag over to my desktop so you guys can see it. So we're going to open it and just set it aside right here so we can work with it. And we're also going to open up File Explorer so we can go into our C drive and we're going to create a new file in here called PHP 7 in all caps. And once you've done that, I already have one right here, so I'm just going to leave that. Just drag all the files you have inside the .zip file into the PHP 7 folder that we just created. So now you can close the .zip file and go into the uh, PHP 7 file and you'll or the folder and you'll see that all the files that were in there has been copied over. So now what you're going to do is go to the php.ne-development, right click, copy, right click, paste, and we're going to rename this to php and delete the dash development at the end and you will be left with a php.ini file just like this one right here. So once you've done that, you can right click it and open it with something like Notepad or Notepad++. And once you're in here, you can control F and look for a line called extension underscore dir. And you're looking for that line right there. So when you originally find this, the line will have a semicolon in front of it just like that. You're just going to delete that so you can uncomment it. You can also scroll down here and see the other extensions that you, if you prefer to have one of these, you can just uncomment the line and you'll get the extension just like uncommenting this line. It looks like this before and just uncomment it so it looks like this. So once you've done that, you can just save and close and you can close this too. So we're going to open up control panel. I'm going to drag it over here so you guys can see it. And up here, we're going to type in variable. And you'll see this right here says edit system variables. And we're going to click on it. And this little window right here should pop up. And we'll click on inventor, in, environmental variables or environment variables down there. And if you scroll down over here, you'll see path. The path variable, you're going to click edit and new and we're going to add a path called c um colon backslash php 7 exactly like with the file that we created inside the c drive and we're going to click off from there and just click okay i already have it over here so i'm just going to delete this one once you've done that that's it, you've installed PHP, so you might need to restart the computer for all the changes to take effect. But once you restart it, you will be able to open up Command Prompt as a way to check. Once you have Command Prompt opened up, just type in PHP-V for version, and you should have something like this show up. If this shows up, you've installed PHP correctly. And if it doesn't, just uh, re-watch the video and follow exactly what I tell you. And if you run into further troubles, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. But yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.